I have sawn five logs on the sawmill with this chainsaw, and now it's time to sharpen it so that it has the right degree of sharpness. I place the chain on the straight edge and set the angle of the teeth to 10 degrees. I think the action angle should be positioned at between 50 and 55 degrees so that the right sharpness and thickness are achieved. One tip is to carry out a test run first. Start the feeder without starting the grinder. It runs on 12 volts, which means you can operate it using an ordinary car battery or run it directly from the battery charger. I can now position it without it grinding. I can turn off the feed in this position and start the wheel instead. We should make sure to wear goggles and ear defenders. Start the wheel and set the depth. I am happy with it now, so switch on the feed. Then I continue the feed until I think enough of the teeth have come through. That's perfect. Are you listening? Now it won't take as much anymore. This means that it has traveled one whole revolution. Then I switch it off at the exact moment when the feed advances before moving the chainsaw forward one tooth and folding over the sharpening head 10 degrees in the opposite direction. It is now ready to sharpen all the teeth on the other side. Let's do it. The machine has an automatic stop function. If I attach this clamp between the first and last tooth to be sharpened, it turns off when it has turned one whole revolution. It has now turned one whole revolution. This chain is now the right sharpness, but we will also sharpen the riders in order to get the right bite. So now we will begin by replacing the grinding disc in the sharpening head, so it is slightly wider. And there we have it. The thicker disc is on. Now we set the angle to zero degrees. The angle of the riders must be slightly oblique. So we position it at around 10 degrees. In other words, 80 degrees. Now we will sharpen from here onwards, meaning that we must reset the chain feed. But we should carry out a test run first, just to be sure to prevent us from damaging anything. This way you can make adjustments while it is operating, and you can see what's happening. A little more, and then we're all set with this one. Now we can let it take every other tooth, like this. Or you can actually place it here, as far as here, so each tooth makes only one revolution.
Now let's get started. Perfect. There's a larger type of chainsaw called the 404. It is usually mounted on a harvester or other large wood cutting machinery. To sharpen this sort of chain, you will need the largest version of the sharpening machine. Now we have sharpened all the riders around the entire chain. And this one, in my opinion, is a perfect saw chain. You will see that you get a much better saw surface than with a new chainsaw. There is a noticeable difference. Having a sharp chainsaw makes things more fun and will bring you better results. And of course, you can always sharpen chains for your neighbors and friends too. Good luck!